He said, while he spoke, it's Jesus, this thing to them, behold, a ruler came and worshipped him, saying, my daughter has just died, but come and lay your hands on her and she will live. Let me repeat it. While he spoke these things to them, behold, a ruler came and worshipped him, saying, my daughter has just died, but come and lay your hands on her and she will live. Now, when you are in the house of the Lord, when you know what you want, you must be able to do, number one, worship. Can you tell the person that is close to you, worship? This man, the daughter just died. And the Bible says he was a ruler. He was a man of authority. He was ruling above somebody or someone else. But now he knew that there was a person who can take the problem away. And the name of this person is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Now when he was still speaking, big as he is, he forgot that he is a ruler. He forgot that there are subjects under him. He recognized that he has a problem. The Bible says he came and worshipped. And say, Jesus, my daughter. But I know that if you can come and lay your hand, she will live. Hallelujah. Now when you are in the kingdom, number one, for your miracle to happen, you must know how to worship. Hallelujah. I'm not preaching, I'm teaching, isn't it? Thank you. Hallelujah. The Bible says this man was a ruler. He came and worship. And the way he has worshipped Jesus, it made Jesus to say, let's go with him. It means someone now has done something that he was never supposed to do. Now, when you are praying as a child of God, let me tell you a secret. You must know how to worship God. The Bible says God stays in the praises of his children. When you start to pray, Oscar said, now like if our teachers, like somebody pushed you in. We have one up. I want to God. My things are not going my way. So show them. Why must he show them? Because you don't even know how to worship him. When you kneel down to pray, when there is something you want from God, you sit down there, you kneel down there, and you say, Father, if you are not there, I'm not alive. If you can leave me, people will laugh at me. But I know you are the God who is able. That's how I do it. I know you are the God who is able to do everything. If you can say a word, Lord, right now, I know my situation will change. I will never run away from you. I will always stay in your presence. Why? Because God, I know you are God, creator of heaven and earth, the Alpha and the Omega, the Bible says, the Lord God Almighty, the Lord that stays above in heaven, the Lord that does not change his mind like the Son of Man, the Lord that is all Always there for his children, Papa Liam Bonana. And God will say, I'm seeing you, my daughter. What is it that you want? So, Lord, look at me and have mercy on me. The problem with, with us nowadays, we don't know how to worship. Am I right? Can you ask the person that is do you know how to worship? Hallelujah. This is a secret of the kingdom. Worship. Can you ask the person that is close? Do you know how to worship? And 
At least at home back then when we were still growing. I don't even know this thing myself. I was born in Lekwishini. They say they used to worship kings. I don't even know how to do it. But as I became born again, I started looking and looking at older pe people doing it. I said, okay, it means when you worship, you must kneel down. It means when you worship, you must go down. It means when you worship, you must show that you are respecting. And when you show that you are respecting, the person that you are worshiping will surely talk to you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you ask the person that is close to you, do you know how to worship? <laughs>